So our stories kind of started like, like we lived in parallel universes. Mm -hmm. Like we talk about how we mm -hmm. like, the more we get to know each other, like we were just like, oh my God, me too, me too, me too. Mm -hmm. And then we became super close. Mm -hmm. So she started in San Jose. I started in LA and we both started the practice because our moms changed a lot from it. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we did our own brain education practice. And then these two parallel universes kind of converged in the headquarters of Change Your Energy. So people have been asking us, how did you meet and how did you start Brain Education TV? So we decided to sit down and tell you the answers and the behind the scenes story of how this all started. So when was the first time we met? Do you remember? Yeah, it was in September 2018. I came, I moved to Arizona and I came to the office and I met you. Actually, I met you before that. I don't think mm -hmm. you remember. I met you at Sedona Maga Retreat. Oh. It was like six, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And you were like a teenager. Mm -hmm. I remember. Like 14. Because I knew your I knew your mom. Mm -hmm. I met her in like the dining hall of Sedona mm -hmm. Maga Retreat. And then they're like, oh, like me meet um, Ario's daughter mm -hmm. and then so I was like oh okay and then we just like gave like this awkward hug mm -hmm. and then we like didn't see each other until September 2018. Yeah. So that was the first time I met you I remember. It was very pa like in passing mm -hmm. like we didn't even say anything more than mm -hmm. just like a hi. Mm -hmm. Right right. Yeah. So speaking of moms, our moms mm -hmm. were in this practice for a long time. Right, so my mom uh, put me into this practice since I was six years old when we moved to the U.S. So brain California. education practice. Yeah, yes. brain education. Uh, when we moved to California and she started at Body and Brain Centers and then I started there too with Power Brain Kids and also her mom. Uh, how old were you when you started? So I, I personally started brain education when I was 22. Um, but my mom, I'm not sure exactly when she started because my mom kind of started it discreetly. You know, she didn't mm -hmm. tell any of us that she's doing a yoga practice. But I think she started when I was either in like late middle school or early high school. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the, the thing that kind of motivated me to take my own journey to brain education, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you have your own story, but what motivated me was my mom changed so much through brain education. Mm -hmm. You know, before she was like, I, I shared in my other videos, which I'll link down below, of um, my, my years growing up with my mom, but she was like a tiger Asian mom and very demanding. And, you know, she had a lot of emotions and hardships that she went through. Uh, and then... I just totally saw her as she was doing something. I didn't know what she was doing because she didn't really tell mm -hmm. tell me, but she changed a lot. And that's what made me, when I was really lost and wondering about where my life is going, what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. I was in a very tender phase in my life too. Lots of uncertainties, lots of doubts. That's when I did brain education. So to give you a little bit more of a backstory, maybe you could just interject and add if you like relate to this, mm -hmm. but... I lived my whole life trying to be happy because since a young age, I didn't really feel truly happy or satisfied with myself. I was doing all the things that, you know, society told me to do. But at the end of the day, I felt something was missing and I didn't know what it was. And that made me so mad because if I knew what it was, at least I could fill it up somehow, right? But I, and because of that little bit of lacking that I always felt, I was always chasing something because I felt incomplete. Chasing something. And I tried every avenue. I tried spending a lot of money. I tried going to a lot of parties. I tried having a lot of friends. I tried so many things in so many arenas to try to be happy, but nothing was working. And she told me about brain education. So at first, of course, I had a lot of resistance because I was like, I'm too cool for that. Like, I don't need that in my life. But was I really too cool for that? Because I was not happy. I was empty. I tried it for the first time by going to a weekend retreat in Sedona Mago Retreat. It was a camp for young people, young people like me and you who are kind of like, is there something more to life mm -hmm. than this? And it was at that place where I experienced basically exercises and meditations for my brain to connect with my body. After a weekend of experiencing that, I had the strangest feeling inside of me. I swear to God, I was so shocked. And that was for the first time in my 
23 years of life at that time, I felt content. I felt happy. Like I felt like right here was enough. Everything was enough and I was good. And that was such a foreign feeling to me because my whole life I felt like I was not good. I felt like something was missing. I was not good enough. I was just shy of that happiness I was seeking. But it was through brain education, actually experiencing it for the weekend that I was like, whoa, I felt full. I felt happy. I got a taste of the happiness that I was seeking for so long. And that's when I was hooked, people, hooked, absolutely hooked. And I said, I had to get more of this. So I just took one step at a time, more, more brain education, more brain education, more brain education, more brain education to where I got to a point where I said, I want this, I want this life. Mm -hmm. So that's when I decided to dive head in and ex not only just experience this practice more to see how deeper I can get within myself, how much more healing I can do, but gain enough power that it doesn't just end with me, but I can spread this and influence change in other people too. Cause that's something I've always dreamed about. Like I always looked up to like Martin Luther King and Mother Teresa and Gandhi because of their influence to bring positive change on a global massive scale. I always in my heart admired them so much for that, mm -hmm. but I always thought that I couldn't do it because I had so many of my doubts and limitations of why I shouldn't or can't do it. But I feel that this YouTube outlet is like a small way that ultimately what I wanna do is I wanna give hope back to the people. Cause I remember when I was so hopeless, like I said in my story, I was feeling so hopeless cause I was searching, 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 searching and finding no answers. So for me, I have a similar story. I think everyone who practices brain education has a similar story of when the, the time when they kind of found that happiness within. I started when I was really young, so I kind of didn't understand it when I was little. I started right. in Power Brain Kids. I went to the Brain Olympiad in Korea. I trained a lot with my mom, but it didn't really like sink in like what what like using my brain this right. way meant. You take it for granted. I did. Mm -hmm. And growing up, I saw like the way people dealed with their stress and emotions and things in their life differently than I did. And like even things like positive thinking, like me telling myself positive things throughout the day, like I did that. And then I talked to my friends and they've never done things like that before. So, you know, implementing those kind of things in my life. I'm really grateful I started that from a young age. And so my mom really changed from this practice. She had a lot of autoimmune diseases and um, just mental challenges. And she has completely transformed her life. She used to go to like hospitals, emergency rooms all the time, surgeries all the time. And nowadays after years of practicing and really being diligent about her practice she has gotten so much better like she's unrecognizable from what she used to be years ago so seeing how much my mom has changed and wanting to find that fulfillment for myself that's definitely what inspired me to start brain education tv and be a part of brain education tv with linda so our stories kind of started like like we lived in parallel universes. Mm -hmm. Like we talk about how we mm -hmm. like, the more we get to know each other, like we were just like, oh my God, me too, me too, me too. And then we became super close. Mm -hmm. So she started in San Jose, I started in LA. And we both started the practice because our moms changed a lot from it. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we did our own brain education practice. And then these two parallel universes kind of converged in the headquarters of Change Your Energy. Uh, where we met mm -hmm. after we both decided that this is what we want to dedicate our lives to. Teaching brain education, as Gabby mentioned, helping other people with the tools of brain education. We both made that choice in our own little like mm -hmm. parallel universes and then our lives converged mm -hmm. in, the, in the office right. in September last year. We saw the impact that online has and YouTube. We saw there's no platform right now for this 
for brain education online as much. Mm -hmm. So we thought, you know, we have expertise online, like making videos, things like that. So we thought we'd create a channel to spread this to the general public and just to a wide audiences. Because it's all a big movement we're trying to do mm -hmm. beyond just yourself that our goal ultimately is to deliver hope for the people, but why? So we can cause mass healing, mm -hmm. like healing on a global scale so that everyone can be healthy, happy, and peaceful because that is our given birthright. Mm -hmm. We all have a right to be healthy, happy, and peaceful. It's not a luxury, it's a right as human beings that we all have, but unfortunately our society doesn't create the environment where everyone is healthy, everyone is happy, everyone is peaceful. Mm -hmm. If we just learn how to use our brain properly, which we both experience and our moms experience and everyone who's experienced brain education is learning as well. If you can just experience the true power of your brain to shift the negative into positive, we really think that it could bring so much individual healing, community healing and world global healing. And you know, even politicians and religious leaders and so many enlightened teachers, you know, big names out there. I'm sure you guys know who the people that I'm talking about. Everyone who is on that mission, they say that they want to help people mm -hmm. and help people heal specifically because so much people are in pain. And we thought, why not reach out to an audience on YouTube that is looking for that? You know, not just on national television or books or in a fun, approachable way, teach people how to use the power of their brains. Just like how we experience right yeah and how we change from it so brain education actually going beyond just a, a small definition of what we shared is a global movement of raising people's consciousness you know the people who are in politics the people who are leaders raising their consciousness so they'll make more sensible decisions that affect everybody mm -hmm. and also the common people upgrading our consciousness upgrading our energy upgrading the way we use our brains so that we can bring health, happiness, and peace in our lives, and also health, happiness, and peace in our neighbors' lives, and our friends' lives, and our relatives' lives. Because if it starts with one person, and you touch five people around you, and those five people touch one more person, that's 10 people. If those 10 people touch one more person, which I'm sure everyone has more influence than just touching one person, <laughs> it's like exponential, right? And that's how change starts. And that's what we want. That's mm -hmm. what this whole, movement of brain education that's the whole philosophy of il chili why he is doing what he's doing it's the seed and foundation of everything that we do il chili is the creator of brain education and he is our mentor for this channel and he's the reason that i want to keep going with this channel because his vision is so big to help people awaken to their brain. So for me, it's like taking on his big vision and um, using what I know to spread it to a lot of people. Yeah, we receive a lot of help on this channel. Mm -hmm. You know, on maybe in the front end, you just see like me and Gabby, but behind the scenes, we receive so much help. We have like a whole village of people mm -hmm helping us through the body and brain center, the different teachers of brain education, mm -hmm. but especially Il Chili who has mentored us from the beginning and actually was the person who even inspired us to create right. a YouTube channel. He was seriously the one who was like behind it saying like, you know, like, no, that's not you. Like, I really believe in you. Like mm -hmm. he believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Mm -hmm. And he kind of like pushed me in this direction to find that, you know, I'm so, so grateful that he did because without that little like nudge of mm -hmm. support, I would have never done this. Mm -hmm. I was afraid to express myself because I was so afraid of if I said the wrong thing, then people will judge me. I'm so grateful to Il Chili for mentoring us and for kind of nudging me when I didn't have the courage to like jump. Mm -hmm. I have the same exact feeling as you do. I definitely never thought I'd be on YouTube because it's such a place where you can get judged. And I was really afraid to like share my voice because that opens it up for judgment. So yes, that little nudge of like believing in myself and, you know, having more self-confidence to speak out and especially about things that could save so many people. It was, I'm very grateful to Il Chili as well. It's amazing what like a tiny little nudge can just change the trajectory or change the 
the direction and the way of thinking for mm -hmm. two people who are influenced by one person. So we really hope that we can be that little nudge for people watching our videos out there who are maybe afraid to come out with anxiety, maybe afraid to come out with depression. They're feeling sick and they don't know what to do and you're feeling hopeless and you don't know where to reach for help. Mm -hmm. We want to be that little nudge. That's why we are doing what we're doing. We want to be your little nudge, <laughs> that you can do it, that you're worthy, that you deserve it, and that you have the power to change. So if you got inspired by this video and would like to get involved with brain education, learn more of what it's about. Or try it yourself. Yeah, or try it yourself. First, you can subscribe to this channel to just learn about what we're doing, what the organization's doing. And then if you want to join yourself, you can go to a body and brain yoga studio near you. There's over a hundred locations across the US. So there's probably one in your city. And then uh, there's retreat centers like the one she mentioned earlier, Sedona Mago Retreat Center. And there's also one in Honors Haven in New York, in upstate New York. And yeah, there's workshops, retreats, all those kind of things, every single week, you know, so you can really look into those and we'll leave all the information below. Yes, we'll link them all down below. So if you want to experience brain education and see what dose of vitamin H, vitamin hope that you can in ingest into your body, mm -hmm. we suggest the best ways to just try it. And there's even global retreat centers. So there's one in Korea, there's one in New Zealand, Japan, Japan, Canada. So if you're in any of those places or would like to travel to a retreat center and take a nice meditation retreat, yeah, we'll link it all. Yeah, we'll all link down everything below. below. Yes. Yeah, so try it. That's the key. Mm -hmm. You have to try it. And when you try it, you'll know. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any other questions for us, any comments, please leave them down below and we'll answer all the questions, all the comments. You know, we respond to all of them. Yes. We love seeing you guys give us feedback for the video. So feel free, let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.